Okay, so uh, today's first thing that I want to do is, um, if you recall, um, probably three weeks ago now, I sent out emails uh, with login information, upload information. We're going to use that now um, to upload to our accounts. Um, I want to show you where your account is, how to log into it, and the point of this is that you'll be able to upload your HTML files to a real server that the school provides you, and then you'll be able to see your work online. You'll be able to share it or uh, submit it. The next assignment is going to be turned in through the web server instead of in the in my folder. So if you don't have your um, your password, remember I emailed it to you. You might want to open up your email and uh, check your inbox. I have a copy of them here in case you can't find it. But go back into your email and um, and pull up that email. Probably like I said from three weeks ago. Um, and how to use that. How to use that password, we'll talk about that right now. So, I gave you um, a username and a password, and in that email, it also had a server name. So, I'm going to write, before we do anything, I'm going to write some quick notes right here. So, how to upload your, your project. Username You need a username You need a password You need a server address So I sent these items out uh, three weeks ago or so, it should be in your email, or I can pull them up on my sheet, but you should look them up on your email first. There's gonna be a username. The username is in some sort of format like this. It's gonna say SU17CS152 plus some um, number so there's going to be some sort of username format like this so username it's going to be in the format of summer 17 cis 152 plus your two unique uh, digits Your password is going to be in the format, it looks like gibberish, but it's going to be three letters, some number, three letters. So A, B, C, some number, X, Y, Z. This is all lowercase. So those two will be different for everyone. You're going to have your own username, your own password. Those will be different for everyone. The server address, this one's the same for everyone. It's stuweb.swccd.edu, lowercase. This is the server. This is the computer somewhere on campus in our computer infrastructure room we have a server we have a computer where you're going to connect to and you're going to upload your work yes uh, 
just ignore that. Uh, in my list of everyone, uh, I have your uh, credentials next to your last name so that I can keep track of them. Uh, so this is the this is the server. Um, you know, you've you've all your life probably you've seen uh, this format, right? HTTP, blah blah, web, etc. Well, that uh, works for connecting through the web browser to view uh, to view it as a website. But we're going to use it as FTP stu web.swccd.edu. This is FTP server. Does anyone know what FTP stands for? It's File Transfer Protocol. You don't need to know that really, but this is a way to transfer files. It's a protocol, it's a way to transfer files, file transfer protocol. So FTP server, this is a special server where you can transfer files to it. Then we can view uh, the result. Let's take a quick look at this. Go ahead and open your web browser and go to the address, http colon slash slash stewweb.swccd.edu. Go to that address on your web browser. We can look at that or we can connect to that server with a web browser to see the site. And in a little bit, I'll show you then how to connect to it through FTP. This looks less impressive than I thought it would. Okay, great. Uh, they used to have the icon of Southwestern College there. Now it's a big blue screen. Okay. Nothing to look at, I guess. So this is a server where then you can look at um, your account. There's nothing to look at at the moment. So we need to connect to your account and um, upload your work. So you need that information, username, password, server address. Check your email for the username and the password. I'll give it to you if you can't find it. But we'll do that in a moment. Um, the other parts that you need then are uh, FTP software to connect to the server to upload, download, create files, folders. So I'm going to give you a little bit of space on our server. Um, on our server, uh, you'll have your own account to log in, your own little space, your, your own little chunk of the internet, where then you can uh, go there and upload your work. Eventually, once you upload your work, To view your project, you're going to go to the web view, the web side, slash the name, your username. So SU17CIS152, for example. Twenty. Put X, but twenty. Give this a try. Go to your web server, and if you found your oh, if you found your credentials, go to your credentials. If you can't find it just yet, go to SU seventeen CS one five two twenty. So in the web browser. If you just go to the top level of the server, there's nothing really there to look at. But then if you go to your account, slash SU17CIS152, whatever your number is in your email, in my example, 20. 
then you'll see something. There's the college's logo. Welcome to the Southwestern uh, Web Teach server. So right now there's just a little placeholder. Your account doesn't have anything in it. We're going to upload something there. To be your project, you go to your address. Now this is similar to like any other web server. Uh, for example, http colon slash slash twitter dot com slash swccis. Well, that's the Twitter server, and then the college has an account there. That's the college's address on Twitter. So now you'll have an address, whatever your SU17 number is on our server. Over on um, YouTube, youtube.com slash PMD Interactive. That's uh, the company I work with. Uh, we've got a YouTube there, youtube.com slash PMD Interactive slash playlists. On YouTube, you watch a video, you watch 20, suddenly it's midnight, you didn't do your work. Because you were looking at playlists, you were looking at one video and another and another. So look at how this address is. There's the main server, then there's the account, then there's a subdirectory, technically. There's a subfolder on the account. You'll be able to do this as well. So for example, slash project three. So we can create folders, uh, subfolders in your account to separate your work. Because we saw for homework two, index HTML is the starting page of the project. Index HTML is pretty much always the starting page of any project. So if you upload today for fun project two into your account at this level here, and then you know in a few weeks when you upload project three and it's also called index HTML, it's gonna erase the old one unless you separate it into folders. So we would create a folder in your account, project one, project two, project three. And in each of those folders, you will then inside of it have an index.html. Or let's say, you know, I create a slash uh, my Sorry. test project slash home.html. You can make these folder names anything you want. Notice I'm making them lowercase with no spaces. So subfolders should not have spaces or special characters. What are special characters? Exclamation points, question marks, all of those symbols, emoji. So you'll be able to create subfolders to organize your work. Then there's going to be the actual files inside of the folder, inside of your account. One cool thing is that if you, if you name your starting file index.html, you oftentimes don't need to actually write it. So in your project three, if you do upload your work and its starting page is index.html, you can simply write that address. Uh, you don't have to write the index.html. Uh, if it's called something else like home.html or about.html, then you do have to write the path completely. So in general, these are the big ideas to view your project, to upload your project, your projects. On Windows, you can use a software called WinSCP. 
Mac, you can use a software called CyberDuck. Or on both, there's also a really famous one, FileZilla. So in this room, we have WinSCP installed. At home, on your own Windows computer, you'd have to download it. It's free. Um, if you've got a Mac, CyberDuck is cool. Uh, that one works well. You can get that one. Or you can get FileZilla for Windows or Mac. Uh, I personally uh, don't use FileZilla that much. It is, however, the big, big, big famous one. Every time you read tutorials on how to upload uh, stuff to a web server, they're always talking about FileZilla. Uh, I kind of got used to using WinSCP a long time ago, and that's what I use. And that's what we've got in this lab. So any one of these does the same thing. Uh, it's just that the screens are going to be different, um, but you'll get the idea. So we're going to use WinSCP to try uploading uh, our project, project two. You, you're ready to turn it in, uh, hopefully. So l we, let's try to upload our wi our project two to the server, and we'll we'll check it all out. So the way we start using WinSCP, go ahead and start. Go to your Start menu and search WinSCP. Uh, I believe it stands for Windows Secure. Start Win SCP. So Win SCP, like most uh, FTP software, gives you a way to manage multiple accounts or sites or servers. So we get first this login screen. There's a new site. We can create more sites. Here's our session. We can create or we can log into more than one server at a time. Um, over here under session on the right, file protocol, host name, username, password. First thing we need to set here is file protocol. Based on my notes, which option makes sense? FTP. So we're going to connect to some server using the file protocol FTP, not SFTP or SCP or WebDAV. We want FTP. Uh, leave this encryption alone. Host name. I called it something slightly different, but what do we put in host name? Server name. It's the server name. So stuweb.swccd.edu. Port number, don't worry about that. Username, well that's your username from your email. If you can't find it in your email, uh, I have a copy of them that I can give you in a moment. And then there's password, so your unique password. Go ahead and type in username and password. If you can't find those items, come up here and I'll give you the password again. Type in your SU17, CIS152, whatever your unique numbers are. Don't type 20. That one's mine. And then password. And if you can't find your password and such, I've got them up here. You can come over here and get it if you need it. It's going to be something like this. FTP protocol, host name, your username, your password. <laughs> If you're doing this on your own computer at home, you may want to save this so that you don't have to type it in every time. On our computer, don't click save because it won't remember it. When you restart the computer, this will go away. So then you can click login. So you want to check your spelling. Okay. 
got the email. It's on the. It's it's on the um, college's email. Uh, and yeah, the no, that's that's what I checked. It doesn't really matter. I I didn't even pay attention to what I saved it as, but <clears throat> it's a plain old text file, so I would save it as text. Um, you know, when I did save, I didn't even choose. That's a good point. I didn't even choose what to save these notes. <clears throat> but I guess uh, for completeness, uh, I would save this as normal text file at the very top. So. Doesn't matter quite what you save it as. If you save it as .html, you can still edit it in Notepad, no problem. But uh, normal text, txt, .txt. So try to sign in with those credentials, uh, and what you should then see is a two-column layout. On the left side, you've got. Not quite marked as it, but on the left side is the server, and on the right side is your computer. <laughs> so on the left side are files on the server, and on the right side is your computer. So in my case, right now on my computer on the right side, I'm in the documents folder. So I can double click that arrow to go up to find the desktop, or I can click. Let's say I've got my flash drive plugged in, so I can click up here. I'm in my documents. I can click that to go to the desktop. I can go, if I've got my flash drive plugged in, it'll be listed here. So we'll look at that right side in a moment. On the left side is the server. I'm connected to my account. I'm in my current account here, clicking on, on that. index.htm. That's the graphic that you were seeing when you visited your account. Here in WinSCP, try right-clicking your index file. You have Edit. So, um, not really too necessary, but if you, let's try this for a moment. Right-click that index file on the server, Edit. Pulls up the editor. Oh, and it looks like HTML. So that's stuff that can be edited. Although it has old HTML, it uses BG color attribute instead of style, white background. So you don't have to do anything here, but you know, for fun, you can change that. to do this. Oh, access to Okay, I see. We're not going to be able to edit it anyway. Never mind. Uh, that one's locked in there. I guess they want to keep the, um, the college's logo there. So never mind. You can't really edit it on the server. I'll just close that. But uh, this is uh, old HTML. According to WinSCP, this was updated back uh, a decade ago. So it's got old styles of HTML, such as the font tag, which uh, never use that one, actually, please. Uh, you'll make a modern web designer cry. So we're going to leave alone those placeholder files. I want to upload a copy of my project, too. But there's already an index file there. So we need to create a folder to separate our projects. You can right-click on the empty spot. 
right click on an empty spot on the server on the left and then go to new they call it directory that's the old term for it classic term but it's a folder you know right click create a new folder new directory you get this complicated screen all you need to do here is set the name of the folder project 2 no spaces no capital letters you could use dashes or underscores but the problem is you're gonna need to type the address again if it's your own project and you and you go home and you want to go and you want to show your your friends or family hey check out my my new website type this address and you forget that you use the dash or an underscore the link won't work so to keep it simple to make sure you're able to connect to it no spaces no special characters no capitalization capitalization actually does matter so if you put lowercase p and then at home try to visit with uppercase p it may not work click ok so now there's a folder here a new directory double click and here the path says okay we're in your project 2 folder inside of your account you can make any more subfolders in here. If you want to back up to the neck, to the level above it, you can double click that up arrow. It takes you back. I would say uh, don't double click the up arrow when you're on your main account. So when you're on your main account here, I can make another folder. Eventually, I'm going. You're going to upload Project Three. For for fun, you could create it right now. Project Three. We can call this anything you want. Also, new directory test. You can upload a test project. You can make as many directories as you want, and inside of them can be a complete project. So inside of project two, now we we're going to uh, try to upload something. So Romulo, I'm gonna uh, borrow your your work for a moment. Uh, we're going to upload something. So let me show you here. Next, what we do on the right side. Okay. If you've got your flash drive plugged in, this is on your computer. So if you've got your flash drive, you can go to the icon up here to select your flash drive. If you have it, let's say, your work on the desktop, you can go to the desktop. I've got a project to upload. So if you go inside of there, I have to upload all of these files to the server so that I can see it on the server. If you um, select the files, all of them at once, or one at a time, you then have to drag them to the left. This is uploaded. So you can do one at a time, sure. You, su you select to upload, or better yet, all of them at once. And it'll say what you're about to do. This screen, you, you'll only see it one time. I'm about to upload five files. Do not show this again. Yeah, this is like, if you want to do like special uploading, I guess. Uh, but this, this screen is really, really worthless. So make sure that's turned on. Don't show this again. Click OK. So depending on the complexity of your project, it may take a moment to upload or not. Just to wait one second. And I've uploaded all my files. This has an index HTML, HTML file as a starting point. I've uploaded something to my account under a folder with an index HTML. This tells me right here. It's confirmed the upload.
So if I want to see it in my web browser, I would type stewweb server slash my account. And if you've got an index, it shouldn't need to then have further, oh, uh, then, then slash project two. And then it shouldn't need to have the final part of it. Index should then automatically be visible. If I wanted to see my, or the video screen, obviously, I would type then at the end slash videos.html. But if it's all linked together properly, I should see it right away. So here's the site. I can go to the different pages, etc. It should be mobile friendly, so if I resize my screen, it will conform to the screen. But I've uploaded a project now. You've uploaded a project. Now you have a web server to work with. Uh, you can upload school related things. Um, eventually, I'm not sure when, but eventually they will delete everything. The, the school IT department will clean out the server at some point, probably at the start of the fall semester. So from now, for a few more weeks, you have access to the server for you to upload real websites and look at it on a real device. Question? So, um, I accidentally just that twice, so I lost the access to that. Yeah. Uh, if you went back up one more level higher than that, um, the easiest thing might be to go to session disconnect and then reconnect. You might have to log out and log back in. Okay, here's another way. Uh, so if you go out way too far out of your own folder, you're going to get to these parts of the server you shouldn't really look at, but I guess I won't tell on you. Uh, if you kind of get out way outside of your folder, what you can do also is if you click on the, um, if you double click the, the bar up here, this is a way for you also to jump through directories or folders. So if you just double click here, Okay, where do you want to go? It's probably up on the menu somewhere also. What folder do you want to go to? Well, the folder I want to go to is my account, so SU, etc. And you might remember it. I'll really take you back to your home directory. All right, so uh, project two, project three. Hopefully you have something that you can practice with. Uh, homework three will be turned in this way. We're not going to turn it in on, on the folder here. So make sure you understand how this works. Go back and watch the video. Uh, I'll put these notes in the folder in a little while. And also, uh, to really test it out also, uh, you've got a mobile device. Exactly. Uh, so you've got a mobile device. Try with your mobile device web browser, open your you know Safari or Chrome or whatever on your device and go to this address and see your project on a mobile device. See how it becomes mobile friendly. Uh, that was the whole the whole point of writing all of that CSS to to make a project that'll look nice on mobile. So it's obviously a little bit more inconvenient on a mobile device. You'll have to type the full address. So that's why keep your file name short. Uh, no spaces, no dashes, special characters.
so you should then be able to see your project on your mobile device uh, and confirm that it's uh, mobile friendly. So let's say uh, you've uploaded something to your server then uh, to, to finish at the moment you can go up to the session menu Disconnect. You connect it to the server. We can start a new session. So if you want to connect to a different server at the same time, new session. Let's say I'm done for the moment. I uploaded some stuff. I can disconnect from the session menu. That takes you back to the login screen. Again, on your own computer, it might be a good idea to save this session information. Click and save. Here, I have to type it all in again. Then I can click close, and I'm finished with WinSCP. Uh, FileZilla and CyberDuck are very similar. Their screens are going to be different. Maybe some of the terminology a little different. Maybe it will say right-click new folder. We had right-click new directory. But you still have usernames, passwords, servers, all of that. The screens. I, I think one of the reasons I don't like FileZilla as much, I think the screen is too cluttered. Uh, FileZilla has like a horizontal panel at the top that tells you way too much information. It still has the left and right columns. Then it's got like a panel at the top and the bottom. And I haven't used CyberDuck very recently, but I think I remember it was pretty intuitive. So you'll need to make sure that you can upload your work. General questions on using FTP?